Hey guys, it is Monday morning. Not February. <laughs> January 29th. It is 12, just about 12.30. I need to go make some lunch. I don't think I vlogged at all yesterday because it just turned into a family day. Um, we were just home relaxing. Uh, Mr. was watching football. Son-in-law came over with the baby and then the daughter and my daughter came over after she was done with work. She's a realtor, by the way. And um, so it just turned into a sort of a family day. And so I didn't, you know, I crocheted. I'm, I'm sorry for turning too fast. I'm working on a new blanket and I'm pairing up a um, Red Heart worsted weight yarn in brown with some nubbly textured yarn. I've spoken about this before, I think. Anyway, this stuff. So I worked on that, hang, hung out with grandson. Um, I did just now get the rest of the granny squares, granny rectangles for the black and green sweater on the blocking board. So that's done. I also saw on a Facebook post somewhere in one of the, my crochet groups, somebody made a little mini yarn ball keychain. I thought that was so cute. So I made one, you guys. I made a label on my computer. How cute is that? So anyway, <laughs> I don't really need another keychain, but I couldn't help myself. So anyway, I'm gonna write something up for my patrons and supporters, and then if they wanna make one too, they can. But anyway, if you wanna join my Patreon, it's only a couple of bucks a month, and the link is down below. All right, I'm gonna put the phone down. Actually, I'm gonna leave it up here, and I'm gonna go make some lunch. And then I've gotta edit the vlog, and I wanna work on the blanket. And this week, I guess I better do the bookkeeping for the end of last year or so. Maybe not today, but yeah, it needs to be done. I'll hey be guys, back. All right, it is after 6 p.m. Mr. is off of work. I got the vlog edited, uploaded, and scheduled. Made a cute little um, crochet keychain, directions for which I uploaded to patrons and supporters. I will be sharing video, uh, pictures on social media later today. But just in case you didn't see it, here's a picture right here. Right there. Right there. I'm also working my way through the next blanket fairly quickly, despite the fact that the multi layers of nubbly fuzzy yarn are uh, challenging is the nicest word I can say. Um, <laughs> but it is making a pretty blanket anyway. So we're working with that. We're gonna go get some steps in real quick and then have some dinner and tomorrow is babysitting grandson day so i need to catch up on some drawings tonight we have some exercise your brain games we do every night and all that stuff but you know right now it's just nice to get out and enjoy the nice cool air, evening air so we're gonna do that first all right i'll be back been a day not a bad day just a day a good day uh i babysat the grandson today which meant that i forgot to vlog again it's just going to be one of those weeks where i constantly am forgetting to vlog um <laughs> i apologize in advance um i did get another blanket finished i got gifted a bunch of this yarn i told you guys uh, yeah, reminds me of Lion Brown Homespun, but it wasn't. Sensations, something. Anyway, this is all I have left. Um, I did make a little, that little um, yarn ball keychain, and I think I might use up some of this to try to make another one. I don't know, it's pretty thick and chunky, but we'll see. I have some of the brown red heart left, which is fine because... I have some other regular worsted weight. Why do I want to say that with a German accent? Worsted weight. <laughs> um, probably because I'm married to a guy of German descent. Anyway, um, I want to make an, a, some more wor worsted weight, worsted weight um, blankets. And I've got a stash back here of colors. Hold on, let me put this away. So it was a good day. Junior was great. Um, he did very well today. Um, he was, you know, 
a nice happy little baby as he usually is and um yeah it was all good uh i got the blanket done i got some chores done um and i got and you know that's that's good that's a good day for me um, I didn't expect to get a whole bunch of other stuff then, but you know, I did open the Lion Brand like mystery bag thing and there was a journal in it with some embroidery floss and the journal had holes in the front. Okay, sometimes I'm not the quickest, sharpest knife in the drawer. The floss is for stitching in the holes and creating a pattern on the front of your journal. I mean, duh. <laughs> I don't know that I'm gonna do that, but duh. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> all right. I'm gonna go finish my episode of NCIS Australia and then head to bed. And I will see you all in the morning. Oh, and the final batch of these are blocking, which means by this weekend, I'll be able to start assembling the sweater, so. I'll hey be guys, back. it's Wednesday afternoon, January 31st, I think. Um, I don't know what time it is, but it's afternoon. <laughs> no, no, it's after lunch. I, you know, I thought this morning about going out to go thrifting, maybe go to Hobby Lobby, um, hit a different Dollar Tree to find the, try to find those hooks I've been looking for for a while now. I didn't end up doing any of that. I ended up starting to put my granny squares together. And it's looking pretty good. I got to write some notes. Let's see, hold on. I'm gonna try to set you up here somewhere. Hold on. Okay, I've got to make some notes about what I did. And so far I haven't really seen anybody do a sweater like this with the Red Heart Granny Square yarn, but you know. Anyway, I pinned the shoulders together and the sides. I was going to, in the, in the rough draft diagram that I did for patrons, I did have a fourth row of granny squares. This only has three, and I think that's going to be fine. But this is how it looks so far. It will have ribbing at the bottom, and I'd like it about as long as the t-shirt. So once the ribbing is on there, I think that'll be perfect. I am going to put long sleeves on it, and we're going to do some ribbing around the collar. But yeah, it's turning out pretty good. So now I'm gonna sew the shoulder seams together, take some notes about a couple things I did, and then we'll start assembling the sleeves, which again, I thought I maybe needed three rows of granny squares for the sleeves, but I don't have that long of arms and I do want ribbing on it. So I'm kind of thinking maybe two. Um, I guess we'll find out, right? Okay, I'll be back. Back to watching NCIS Australia while I sew granny squares together some more. I'll be hey back. Guys, it's after seven o'clock at night and I think it's probably time I go downstairs and have dinner. <laughs> um, I have been listening to podcasts all day and working on the granny square sweater. And what do I hate the most about crocheting? weaving in ends, <laughs> which is usually why when I do the blankets, I weave in ends as I go. So when I'm done with a blanket, all I need to do is clip the threads because everything's already woven in. Um, I didn't do that on this because I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. So I just sat and spent uh, at least an hour, if not an, two hours, tying knots, weaving in ends, and all the things. Um, it's done now, except for things that are at the very edge like this one here that's on the corner which I can weave in when I do the ribbing um, and or sewing up the side seams so all the other ones that were on the back side are all done so I'm gonna put it in my bag take it downstairs when I go I got the red heart super saver jumbo to do the ribbing and stuff with so that should be plenty um, there seems to be a lot there, so we'll see, I guess. <laughs> um, I think that's it. I think it sounds like my husband's having an intense conversation with a friend. Not sure what all, that's all about, but anyway, I'm going to put things back on the mannequin, a.k.a. my hanging, my friend who hangs, hangs on to things for me. Um, I also need to make another pincushion or something 
and use up some of these yarn scraps um, that I'm <clears throat> accumulating. Yeah. So anyway, I got nothing else done today. <laughs> Just sat and crocheted all day. You know, I think we all especially those of us who are creative, we need a day where we can just sit and chill all day. No phone calls, no computer. The computer hasn't been on. I mean, I've gotten out of the habit of turning the computer on every day. Yes, I have the tablet on all the time and that sort of counts. But the desktop, she don't come on unless I actually have to sit down and do bookkeeping, which I still haven't done yet. Um, edit videos, um, something like that that I can't get done another way because I just don't like to be chained to the desk so anyway all right let's clean clean up my lunch dishes are still sitting there because yeah i've been just crocheting the day away all right let's get downstairs i'll be back it is just about 10 30 a.m on thursday february 1st got the laundry working i've got uh went and got the mail hadn't done that in a couple of days um, and empty all the garbage cans in preparation for a grandson coming over. Um, it's a babysitting day. I also, back here on my back, scratched something this morning and thin old lady skin. I started bleeding, so now I've got band-aids back there, which are less than comfortable. But anyway, um, <laughs> I'm going to continue work at some point today on my Red Heart Granny Square sweater. And um, then I'm going to start writing up the pattern for patrons and supporters and figuring out what I'm going to film for YouTube. And um, I think it's a pattern I've come up with. It's very easy to adapt to either a pullover or cardigan. And I may do the white one as a cardigan. So we'll see. Um, yeah, so that's going to be fun. Also, I'm hoping it's warm enough this weekend and or we don't have too much to do and husband can work on my desk, my new my new vintage secretary desk. So we can get that done and at some point I can get it upstairs. Because yeah. All right, I think that's it for the minute. I am going to stop pacing, go sit down and relax and watch some YouTube. Tempted to have a third cup of coffee this morning, but that's not good for me, so I'm not gonna do that, um, but yeah. All right, still can't find the little blue penguin. My nephews put him, I don't know where they put him away. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna just make another one and I think we might fill that bowl instead of with the decorative balls with mini amigurumi. That would be cute. Anyway, and kids safe. All right, I'll be back. After the grandson left for the day and went home, um, Bob went off to his Masonic Lodge meeting. Yes, it's kind of late. I look tired. Um, and I worked on my sweater. Are you ready? It's turning out pretty good, I think. Obviously, you can see I still need to do this part. But look, I've got the sleeves done. I've got the bottom done. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? I like it. I'll be back. Well, good morning, everybody. It is Friday, February 2nd, um, 9, 19 a.m. to be precise. So Mr. B's works uh, secure network is down, uh, for lack of a better term. Um, so he has to head into the office this morning and I am actually headed out to run some errands, get some stuff for family dinner night tonight. I'm actually cooking for a change, which is a switch because I don't do too much of that anymore. Uh, we're making red beans and rice and there's a couple of cheats I can use. Um, so we're going to do that. I'm probably also going to make some cornbread. And I need to get supplies. So and I've got a whole list of things that I need that they don't necessarily have at the shops that Mr. and I usually go to on Saturday. So we're gonna go do that today and get that done. So anyway. <sighs> yeah. Alright. That's it for the minute, I think. I might drive down to Sherwood rather than deal with 
with anything over here where I live. But we'll see. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, are you ready for this? I just finished it. Um, keep in mind it's acrylic yarn and it needs to be washed to soften up the fibers. Um, it's Red Heart, all Red Heart yarn. Um, but that being said, Red Heart is easy to work with. It's budget friendly. Um, I got the Jumbo Super Saver skein of, in black because I didn't know how much I was going to need. I still have probably half the skein left um, to do something else with, which is cool. But anyway, I love the way it turned out. Now it will, the fit will adjust just a little bit on the looser side, I think, um, once I wash it um, with some fabric softener, but it shouldn't do too much. Acrylic yarn really doesn't like stretch out like um, natural fibers do. Natural fibers get crazy and insane. Uh, but anyway, hang on a second and I'll get a good shot for you. Okay, what do you think? I like the this this collar, this neckline with the opening. Now, of course, you could put buttons and buttonholes here if you so choose. I choose not to, but I love the way it turned out. You could also make it more of a collar and not only do the neck ribbing, but actually do a collar collar. But I, I just, I'm happy with it the way it is. I do think on the blue, on the blue and white one, this one, that I might do it as a cardigan. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I do know I don't have enough squares for that one. And that's the one that I have to film at least part of it for our patrons and supporters. So there's that. I'll do some clips, of course, for you guys. But yeah, anyway, I love it. All right, now to get it washed. And then I can relax a little bit, prep the next crochet project and then start getting ready for family dinner night because I've got cooking to do. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Saturday afternoon. It's just about four o'clock. We spent the day doing, oh, I still have to water the plants, <laughs> doing chores and running errands and then came home and had a late lunch and just chilled on the couch for a while. Bob is out in the garage now working on my vintage secretary desk that at some point will be upstairs in the art room. You probably can hear the washing machine in the background. I'm gonna water plants and do my one of my favorite chores, dishes, cause, well, they've gotta be done. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna sit and work on another blanket before I start the next sweater project. And yeah. Oh, I did wear my new Granny Square sweater out today when we went out. I'll put a picture here. And got a lot, got a lot of compliments on it, got complimented on it and um, yeah, also encourage folks like, you know, if you want to learn to do this, there's a lot of videos on YouTube. And um, one person I talked to today says, well, I really want to learn how to do quilting, you know, hand sewing. I said, again, YouTube. <laughs> there's a lot of really good teachers on YouTube. So um, I, just, I told her, you, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Not with the quilting, but you know, with learning a new thing. So anyway. Yeah, that was all good. I guess now I better water the plant <laughs> and then do the dishes. And then I'm gonna start on, on another scrap blanket because I seem to have always scrap yarn. It doesn't seem to ever get less. It seems to just get more and more and more. Anyway, I'll be back. Mr. Bob was working on my desk. I had bought him some sandpaper and wood putty the other day to do said work. And how do you buy the wrong wood putty? I don't know, but I managed. So we gotta go out and get the right stuff and probably one or two other things he says he needs. So I'm just glad he's fixing it more for me. We'll be hey back. guys, it is, I don't know, late, let's see. 10.43 PM. Uh, <laughs> we didn't get a lot done after I talked to you last. <laughs> I did start a new blanket, um, cause I told, and I told you I was going to, of course I did. Got them colors here. Worked with what I had. I think it looks pretty good. Um, we went out and got some stuff for the secretary 
desk project and just, you know, had a nice chill, relaxing, calm day. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, got some stuff ne done we needed to do around the house and yeah, it's all good. Anyway, I hope you guys have had a good week. We've had a pretty good week. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you would. And if you want to support the free content here on YouTube, I do have a Patreon and I am in the process of um, trying to write up a crochet pattern for the granny square sweater I just finished with some options to turn it into a cardigan. And that will be for patrons only. Um, I will do... A, kind of a blurby short video probably on YouTube, but it'll be a long detailed video over on the patrons' private YouTube channel. Yes, they do have one. Um, and uh, they also we also have a conversation in Facebook Messenger, and there's another one over on Patreon, and uh, we chat back and forth all the time. So anyway, I hope you guys have um, had a fun, creative week and that you've done something that you love with people that you love. And uh, don't forget to do it again. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Be safe, be healthy, all that jazz. And we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.